I'm not quite sure how to describe our next story. It might have to do with some pretty serious themes, like, say, youthful alienation or a post-9-11, post-Katrina survivalist worldview. But then maybe it's just about people who like to get together and dress up and act up and do a few good deeds. Henry Berger tonight on St. Louis' own Zombie Squad. When your neighborhood becomes infested with zombies and St. Louis suffers from a catastrophic apocalypse, you know what to do? Well, don't fear. The Zombie Squad is here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're world's premier non-stationary cadaver suppression task force. We, uh, we keep the neighborhood safe uh, from the undead. Okay. These suppressors of the walking dead are equipped with zombie fighting vehicles, gear, supplies, and most importantly, the know-how to survive a zombie outbreak. Dedicated to the dissemination of information and the eradication of the infestation that is the walking dead. But don't be concerned that there will be a zombie infestation in your neighborhood anytime soon. Right now, I am so proud to say that St. Louis is 100% zombie free. Oh, well, thank you. So, yeah, yeah, we, we've really been really, we're very proactive. <laughs> we start to see something come up, we squish it real quick and make it all good. <laughs> and when business is slow, which it usually is for these very efficient exterminators, the zombie squad helps the community. To become more prepared for the events of tornadoes, fires, earthquakes, whatever could happen in the city. And that's really their mission, to prepare St. Louisans for any disaster or outbreak, zombie-related or not. The Zombie Squad was formed about five years ago after a group of friends who grew up watching post-apocalyptic and disaster movies realized there was a need here in St. Louis for disaster preparation. Diligently in trying to get out information vital to your survival in the case of a zombie catastrophe or zombocalypse, if you will. Through charity events, uh, pamphlets, seminars such as this one, and disaster fairs, it has been our mission to make sure that you and your loved ones have the tools necessary to thrive and survive in the face of adversity, undead or otherwise. Our goal is to get the word out, to start educating people on the grassroots level about how to be prepared personally in case emergency strikes. Case in point, the storms last summer. 85% of St. Louis was not prepared. And we want to work with the Red Cross um, and FEMA and CERT to train them on what they need to do to make their lives easier during situations like that. Hopefully when disaster strikes, you're going to be able to kick back in your well-stocked home and wait for the danger to pass. But don't bet your life on it. This group uses zombies as a metaphor for those disasters that can strike at any time, because obviously if you're prepared for a catastrophic zombocalypse, you'll have all the knowledge and supplies you'll need to survive an unexpected evacuation, a fire, a flood, or even a tornado. But their message is serious, and they use zombie humor to illustrate the importance of disaster preparedness through community-related events online forums which have generated responses from all over the world and videos like this one. Oh my god, there are zombies everywhere! We're all gonna die! Let's do this! Uh, we decided to use this, this audience as a way to do um, positive work in the community. We'll throw um, blood drives and the way that we'll get uh, an audience um, to come to these blood drives is we'll, we'll throw zombie flash mobs which are uh, a bunch of people will get together and dress up as zombies and wander around some neighborhood and draw attention and you know when everyone comes out to see what's going on we hand out flyers to these blood drives. And, people come. People understand that? Do they understand that <clears throat> this is just your fun way I, I, for mo a greater most people, cause? Most people look, uh, they, they, I guess, see the humor of it. Now your main objective as a civilian in a zombie outbreak is very, very simple, to survive. 
We... Well, their mission must be understood. Zombie Squad chapters are popping up throughout the country and even in Canada. They host national events where Zombie Squad members from all over spend a week camping in the woods, testing their survival skills. Is that what makes you guys kind of the experts on sur the survival stuff? Is the um, fact that I, I wouldn't say we're experts, but we have pulled in a lot of people who are uh, the. Our community is pretty large, and we have people from all sorts of experience, um, ranging from uh, you know, uh, software programmers all the way to disaster responders for the you know, Coast Guard. You know, there's, there's a whole range of people that bring a whole uh, slew of experience. We've grown quite a bit from just being a bunch of kids hanging out in a, um, someone's living room watching zombie movies. But just remember, during times of unexpected chaos... If you can survive the Zompocalypse, you can survive any natural disaster that's thrown your way.